The Indian Railways is resuming passengers' train operation from today, nearly two months after services were stopped due to the nationwide lockdown imposed as a precautionary measure to contain the spread of COVID-19. The railways opened bookings for passengers' services on Monday with 15 trains a day connecting Delhi to Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, Kolkata and other big cities. Coronavirus cases rise unabated across the globe, with over 4 million people infected by the deadly contagion. More than 2.8 lakh people have died due to COVID-19 across the globe, while more than 1.5 million patients have recovered from the disease globally. The Union Ministry of Health today morning updated India's active COVID-19 cases to 46,008. Glenmark Pharmaceuticals said today it has initiated clinical trials in India of antiviral drug favipiravir seen as a potential treatment for the coronavirus disease COVID-19 for which it received approval from the country's drug regulator in April. As per a media report, Mumbai-based Glenmark said in a BSC filing the approval met the first pharmaceutical company in India to be given the note by the Drug Controller General of India to start trials on COVID-19 patients. Jiribam is all set to receive 1,140 stranded state natives from Chennai tomorrow. In all, 50 buses have been sent to Jiribam to bring back the returnees to Infal. They are on the way in a special train. Local MLA Pounam Brozen distributed rice to the residents of Wangjing Tenta. The residents loaded Brozen for the distribution. Each household got 10 kg of rice, while children above 5 years of age got 5 kg each. A team led by chairman of all Kaifundai Village Authority, Tamenglong District, provided vegetables to the frontline workers, doctors, nurses and medical staff of Jiribam Hospital yesterday. Mao Women's Business Union provided vegetables grown in Mao to United Committee Manipur UCM at the latter's office in Infal today. The items will be distributed to the people affected by the lockdown. District Handlooms and Textile, Chuchampur, distributed fast marks to weavers in different parts of Chuchampur district yesterday. Amid the COVID-19 lockdown, the Brahmapur Social Club BAC, Brahmapur Lalji Lakpalaikai, with the assistance from the local residents, essential food items were distributed to the needy and poor households of the locality today. Three buses carrying 60 students from Arunachal Pradesh studying at Saina Institute of Medical Sciences, Parampat, left in file today. MMWO President Abdullah Fundremayum flagged off the buses from the institute. The three buses will bring back 62 Manipuri nurses from Arunachal Pradesh. The 12th Battalion of National Disaster Response Force NDRF Doimuk Arunachal Pradesh today carried out sanitization drives at BSNL office complex at Babupura and ISTB office premises at BT Road. The team spread decontamination solution to keep the deadly COVID-19 at bay. Helping the poor and needy people during the ongoing nationwide lockdown and curfew, Katrigao MLA and Indrajit today extended a monetary aid of Rs 20,000 to Yumnam Noren, a resident of Kongpal Chanam Laikai. On the other hand, a group of MSPDCL engineers donated Rs 50,000 to MLA Indrajit for the Katrigao COVID-19 relief fund. Maitai Society to Champur today distributed rice, potato, dal, Massad oils and other daily essential items to the poor and needy Maitai household at Kumujamba Maitai Laikai of Chuchampur district.